video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a facial toner, a natural facial toner that is rich in antioxidant that is great for the skin. A facial toner you use on clean skin right after you cleanse the face. And you are going to use either a cotton pad or you can choose to use your hands and you're going to apply it on the skin. It's going to help to balance the natural pH levels of the skin, hydrates and refreshes the skin. If you're interested in this recipe, follow me to the kitchen. I'm going to share the full detail recipe recipe and I'm going to leave some tips with you and how to get the best result from using this on your skin. Hi guys, take a look at what I have here. Here I have a piece of carrot and carrot is rich in beta carotene it is also rich in vitamin a it have to lighten brighten while tightening and firming the skin we are also going to be using some aloe vera and today i'm using fresh aloe vera gel aloe vera will help to clear pigmentation on the skin lighten brighten and also hydrate the skin it's good for sunburn and you're going to find it in most of your skincare products so aloe vera and carrot are two of the main ingredients so let's go ahead and prep these two Now for our carrot, I'm going to use about a ounce of the carrot and this I am going to be blending. So first I'm going to chop the carrot in small pieces. So let's go ahead and chop the carrot. Now once this is done, I'm going to place the carrot in the blender. Now before I blend, let's reach for the aloe vera gel so i'm going to be using about two ounces of the aloe vera gel so first i'm going to extract it from the leaf extracting the aloe vera is pretty easy i like to just go ahead and just peel off the outer peel just peel the entire thing like i'm showing here And voila, fresh aloe vera gel. And now I'm going to place it in the blender along with the chopped carrots. And now I'm going to blend. Now after blending, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strain. Now we're going to add a few more ingredients to this. My first ingredient is going to be some rose water. You can add rose water or you can use uh, some green tea. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of the rose water. Now after adding the rose water, I'm going to give this a stir. And for this recipe, I'm going to be using a little bit of a vegetable glycerin. This is optional. If you have it, use it. If you do not have it, you can choose to leave it out. And I'm going to be using about, not a lot, about a teaspoon or so of the vegetable glycerin. If you have regular glycerin, you can use it. Remember, it's an optional ingredient. My final ingredient is going to be a little bit of a vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil help to nourish, help to protect. We do not normally use oil in our toner, but today I'm just going to use about a four or five drops in it. You can choose to leave it out if you do not want any oil in your toner. 
and now we are just gonna mix it in and our aloe vera carrot facial toner is now ready to use on the skin so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna mix it up mix it well and I like to set this aside a bit, set it for a couple of hours, just let the ingredients just infuse. And then after that, I come back and I'm going to bottle it. Now you can choose to use small jars or just store it in any of your favorite container. So I'm just going to pour mine in. Take a look. Here we have our facial toner. Your carrot aloe vera facial toner. Place this in the refrigerator to chill. Also keep it in your fridge for up to seven to 10 days. And this is what you're gonna spritz on your skin right after you wash your face. You can choose to use it on a cotton pad or you can simply go ahead and take a bit of the toner in your hands like this, rub it and then just apply it on your face. Now Go ahead and use AM and PM for best result. And there you have it, a natural facial toner that you can use to hydrate the skin. Go ahead, whip it up, use it up right after you cleanse the skin. And guess what? You're on your way to gorgeous looking skin. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and don't forget to leave your comment. Thank you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.